All right, so in today, we uh, got quite a bit done today. We got 130 bale mulch uh, blowed out on a job. Got the job completely reclaimed. Uh, got the equipment moved across the street to another job we're going to do tomorrow. Uh, this morning, while we was working, we uh, first first thing off the bat, I threw a couple logs in the bed of the, the little dump truck. And the hydraulic tank just fell off. Uh, we should have. Should have made a quick video of that, but I did. It, it, it throwed a couple in. The, the bands was so bad and rusty. I mean, that dump truck, I built that truck about 10 years ago, and those bands have been on there all that time, so they wasn't real thick. They broke, the hydraulic tank hit the ground, and we had to ratchet strap it up. All of us, we got a chain around it, picked the bed up, and ratchet strap, we got it put back together good enough. Uh, so, Worked all day, left the job at seven o'clock this evening, got back to, uh, I'm from up here in a little holler, uh, born and raised up here in Salt Rock, uh, up in a little holler, a little single lane road. It's like nine tenths of a mile off. Well, you turn up a two lane, turn off main route 10 onto a two lane road and you turn off the two lane road with just a loop with just a, a line down the center of it, no white lines, and you turn off of it onto a, a wider single lane road. And then you turn off of it and you go up an even narrower single lane road up a little holler. And you go nine tenths of a mile up this little hole and that's where I was born and raised. And loved every minute of it. Sometimes I miss it incredibly. But regardless, it takes 13 minutes when you leave that driveway to get to just about anywhere. It takes about 12, 13 minutes to get to town, get to Salt Rock. So, shave off all that time living where I live at now. So, uh, got up here in my little garage that I built 10 years ago. Uh, dump truck. Can't even get the dump truck in it. It's only got a nine foot door. So, I got it backed in as far as I could. Hooked the extension cord up. I've got a big, big extension cord for my MIG welder that lets me take my MIG welder all the way to the front door. Thank to my brother, he helped me make it. Uh, took my MIG and I welded a couple stitches on this thing and got the tank put back up, mounted on there. I mean, I think it'll hold. I mean, I, I wouldn't be afraid of it. I, I kick tested it a couple times too and it sounded solid. So if them little rotted out straps held it up on there, surely my welds will hold it. Got that fixed, it's 824. I sent, uh, I sent Miss K a message to get me some dinner put on for me and I'm on my way to the house. It's 8.30. It'll be 8.30 by the time I get there. I'll probably swing by the front gate and I'll throw this trash out of the bed of my truck. All these water bottles and stuff. I'll throw all these water bottles out and uh, probably tap my top my fuel tank off in my truck, head to the barn and call today. And tomorrow we got some bigger trees to take down. We'll, we'll try to make a video of it try to get us a video on the inside and the outside. I'll probably try to put a camera in the cab of the hoe and uh, if Bernsey, the cameraman, shows up tomorrow, which I kind of figure I could probably get him to show up tomorrow, especially if it's got anything to do with something major. He'll probably be there tomorrow. We'll get us a video of that and get that uploaded. I've been getting a little bit of feedback from people about the YouTube channel and stuff, saying that, you know, they like it. They want me to put more videos on there, so... That's what we're trying to do. I'm just gonna to try to give you guys an in-depth every day today what we do. I know it probably seems like we don't do a whole lot or whatever, and we don't think we do anything extra special. We're just, you know, a bunch of, uh, I'm just a high school dropout, a uh, single father at the age of 18 years old. Got myself started in a little business after I quit a couple jobs that I worked for and started my own thing 13 years ago. and. I just do every, do it every day. So not every day is fun and paradise. Some days is pure hell. And I wish I could crawl in a hole somewhere under a big rock and just lay there for a while. But I can't. I got payments and I got a family to take care of. So here we are. But we got uh, we got plenty of stuff on the books to do. Of course, uh, I really, Corbin, Kentucky ought to be fun for everybody. We ought to have plenty of videos. We're going to have a big drill. Uh, middle lane drilling will be there with one of their big track drills, the biggest track drill they got, a big 50. So we'll have that. 
we'll make a lot of videos of it and get it up on on our youtube channel and we'll do some daily daily updates and whatnot let's see if we can't grow this thing and let's see if we can't grow this thing into something you know i, I like my ideal thing is to get kids involved in this industry that's what happened to me my greatest heroes uh in this uh uh russell donahue uh, god rest his soul uh i loved him um salt rock volunteer fireman um i loved russell donahue i spent many days uh, hanging up on the side of his dozer watching him operate that old six uh jennings aggins uh love that man love that man i think he's uh he's next to a saint uh just good people like that's my heroes my uncle bob so i've, I've always been in in love with this and doing what i do and i'm just lucky enough as a kid as a big kid to play uh, play operator for every day but give you guys an intel of what it's like to own your own excavating business and own your own business period the late nights and the and the Frankenstein fixes that I do and sometimes I get a little bit of time and I make it I make it look pretty and then other times I just slap it on there and we'll get us back to work and we'll fix it later so but uh, we'll get us a couple videos tomorrow and get them put up I got a couple videos tonight, which they'll be on there if you guys ain't already seen them yet. But it was a progress today and a couple other things. So uh, enjoy. Talk to you soon.